one of the things that had given me a little bit of pause was I was looking for ways to make them more interesting than it just being a straightforward talking head video. I didn't think that that would be quite, not only not as engaging, but I thought that uh, if there was some way that I could add another element to it, uh, more visual, that would it would actually aid in particular, like if I was going to do a class on Arabic or anything else. And so I stumbled across, his name is uh, Samuel Suresh. And I just, I don't know if I tumbled down some sort of YouTube rabbit hole, whatever that it was, I stumbled upon his video and it was neat. And he was using his iPad to write on and he was overlaying that on top of his video. And I thought that it was neat because it was handwriting. It wasn't just text. And in his video, he was doing it where you, you could either do it in real time or maybe even pre-record what you were writing and then you could overlay that. But um, there was one extra step that I thought uh, that is really handy. And particularly that is if you, in the record function on any iOS device, like your iPhone or in this case, iPad, when you swipe down to activate the screen recording function, if you hold that for a minute, it will bring up a few extra options. One of them is the ability to, to activate the microphone on it. Now, Obviously, the mic on the iPhone or the iPad is not great, but what it does allow you to do is to record so that in post you can sync up, like I'm using my external microphone here just off camera, and so that's what's going to record my voice. But then likewise, when I'm doing things on the iPad, that would also be able to uh, record my voice. So again, both video on the camera and on the iPad would be synced in real time. And I thought that would be uh, kind of just, again, a, a more, uh, I thought that would be a more engaging way and potentially could even overlay, you could have multiple layers where you could have like a PDF that you were working on and then you could overlay on top of that PDF what you're writing on the iPad. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. So when I share the clip again, it's like all of, you know, maybe five or eight seconds. But it's really neat. So the, the three main layers is you have your talking head video here. Then you will have a black background that you adjust the opacity on so that you will kind of make what you're writing a bit more distinct, especially like right now I'm filming in the after. Actually, it's pretty much almost Maghrib right now. It's evening time. So the background is darker. But if you were filming in the daytime and you have white walls and a lot of light, then if you're writing, then it can be hard to maybe distinguish the writing from the overlay on the video. So by putting just a simple uh, black background there and then adjusting the opacity, that increases the, the contrast, so to speak. And then on top of it, uh, as he says, you can apply like a Gaussian blur and that will allow you to then also bring a bit more into focus what you're writing on top. And then as you edit, you can turn that on and off. So when you have moments where you're just simply talking, but you're not writing, right, you can uh, cut those parts out. And then when you want to start writing or dictating or teaching again, and you're writing, then you can, you know, put those back. So I thought it was, it was really neat. So I'll leave that little clip here at the end uh, for you to look at. And, um, my thanks to Samuel, it's a really cool idea. Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to look at explaining what is a fi'l, the plural of which is af'al. Who are you? Who do you think I am? Which is verbs, and then of course, let's look at the ism. Nouns and see how that looks. <laughs> 